Hello everyone. Welcome to the flip lesson on calculating the percent in a word problem with me, Mr. Weikhorst. As you watch this video, you can pause and rewind as many times as you'd like. I would like you to take notes on what you see and please write down any questions you have about the content of the video. Right now I'd like you guys to read the following problem and try to answer it as a warm-up question. So let's read it together. The school is running a fundraising goal for the seventh graders. If a student sells 25 magazine subscriptions, he or she wins a prize. Robert has sold 12 subscriptions. How many more must he sell to win the prize? Use a picture model to show your answer. So pause the video, try this problem, and then press play when you're ready. Okay, so now that you've solved this, let's see what an ideal solution would look like. To create a picture model for this, I can create a rectangle, a bar diagram. And in this bar diagram, notice how straight my lines are, 25 is the goal, and 0 is where we start. So we know that Robert has sold 12 subscriptions. So what I want to do is try to figure out how much is left out of that 25. Well, Halfway to 25 would be 12 and a half, which isn't really what you're going to sell subscriptions by. You're not going to sell half of a subscription. But I know that 12 is somewhere in this range uh, near the 12 and a half. So that's about 12. Okay? So if I were to split this diagram into pieces, what's this is what Robert has sold. This is what's, what's left is everything from 12 to 25. So if I take 25 and subtract 12, I'm left with 13 more subscriptions, which would be my answer. 13 more. But that's a much easier question than what I'm hoping to show you today. That was just a nice warm up to what I'm about to show you. Let's say I reworded the question. And instead of saying, how many more must you sell? Let's say I asked, what percent of the goal did Robert sell? So if he sold 12 out of 25, what percent is that? And the way I can reword that is into the question that you now see. 12 is what percent of 25? So what I'm going to show you is how to solve this part to whole percent problem. And today again, the goal is to find the percent. So in the question, we're asking, what percent is this? Well, the way that I'm going to show you how to solve it in the video is by creating a proportion. And what we are going to use today is what's called the percent proportion. Okay. In the percent proportion, it's very easy to set up. The way a percent proportion works is it's the part over the whole as a fraction, okay, so if you sell 12 out of 25, that's your part in whole, and you're going to set that equal to the percent, and remember what a percent is, a percent is a comparison to 100, so it's the percent over 100. So in our problem here, we need to identify the part in the whole, and what we're going to be solving today is that percent. So. A quick trick for you is that when the problem is written like this, whatever number that's next to is, is going to be your part, and whatever number is next to of is going to be your whole or your base. So in our problem, 12 is the part, 25 is the whole, and I want to know what percent that is, so I'm going to call that x. And now I have a proportion that I can solve. And whatever way you want to solve it is fine. I'm going to use the scaling method. So I know that 12 over 25 is our original fraction. And if I scale that by 4, I get 25 times 4, which is 100. So that means if this is a true proportion, I could do the same thing to 12. So x is equal to 12 times 4. And 12 times 4, we know is 48, and that's a percent. 
So our answer to the question is 48%. 12 out of 25 is 48 percent. Another comparison uh, for another problem that would make sense here would be, let's say I gave you a test out of 25 points. If you got 12 of those points, you would get 48 percent, which is not good. So don't get that. So let's see if you guys can apply that. Let's look at another problem that's similar. I would like you to pause the video and try to answer this question. And when you're ready, press play. Okay, so in this problem, Jerry got 19 out of 25 points on a quiz. What percent is this equivalent to? So the way that you should have set it up, if you use the proportion, is you should have done the part, which is 19, that's how many Jerry got, out of 25 possible points. We want to know what percent that is. So it's always x over 100 when we're finding the percent. So I could solve this the same exact way that I solved the last one. 25 times 4 is 100. And 19 times 4 is what will give me my percent, because it's properly scaled. So x is equal to 19 times 4. And 19 times 4 is 76%. So the answer to my question would be 76%. Which is not bad, but it's not great. But at least it's better than 48%. So, now that I know my answer is 76%, I'm going to show you one other way that you can actually answer this question. We know how to convert decimals into percents. So, what I can do is take 19 out of 25, which is my fraction that I got correct, and convert that to a decimal, and then make that a percent. So, if I want to know what 19 out of 25 is as a decimal, I can see how many times 25 goes into 19, which obviously it does not. 25 doesn't go into 19. So I'll add a zero and a decimal at the top and add a zero to 19. I know 25 goes into 190 seven times, and that gives me a remainder. When I multiply 25 times seven, a remainder of 15. So I add a zero to that, and 25 goes into 150 six whole times. Six times 25 is 150, and my remainder is zero, which means I'm done. So I've converted 19 over 25 to 0 0.76. But to make 0 0.76 a decimal, I mean, uh, to make 0 0.76 a percent, all you need to do is multiply it by 100, or essentially you're moving the decimal point two spaces to the right. So that would be 76%. So either way that you do these problems, you're going to get the same kind of answer. It's just the way that you approach it. The methods are always the same. Whichever way you want to choose that's easier for you is fine. So now that you've watched the video, I encourage you to watch it as many times as you need to. And now I'd like you to also go on the website and fill out the Google form that goes along with the video. But other than that, thank you for watching.